Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I seem to have inevitably started a new like battle of neutral palettes series on my channel. So basically I had two neutral palettes and I couldn't make up my mind on which one I wanted to film with next. So I asked you guys on my Instagram stories and people were so happy to share their opinions with me. So you guys ended up requesting the Sigma Corda Rosa palette. So I did film a look with that palette. I'll try and remember to link it in the eye for you guys. So the palette I didn't end up using in that round was the Supreme Nudes by Artist Couture. So today, as I sat down to film, I decided to ask you guys again, I decided to poll my Instagram fam and ask them which palette they would like to see next. So I asked if they'd rather see the Supreme Nudes or this guy, this is the Scott Barnes, what is this called, the Snatural number one neutral palette. So I wasn't really in the market for this palette at all and I watch Michelle Wong's video where she said if she could only keep 10 eyeshadow palettes. So I got sucked in, started watching it and she had mentioned the Scott Barnes palettes and I remember at one point, kind of close to the start of the year, everyone was reviewing Scott Barnes makeup and so then after I watched Michelle's video I kind of went down the rabbit hole of trying to find reviews of his makeup products and the one thing I definitely noticed was there wasn't many tan skin tone reviews actually I don't think I saw any I saw some African American and I saw a lot of like uh, lighter skin tone reviews but I didn't see anyone with my skin tone review the palette so of course, I was on a mission, so I did end up purchasing this natural palette. So my question for you guys today, my YouTube family, I'm asking you guys to vote. So I have the Scott Barnes palette going up against the Latte 2 by Dominique Cosmetics. So let me know in the comment section which palette I should film with next. Just leave the name of the palette in the comment section and I will film with that next. And I'll just move the palette that doesn't win along to my next video so it's just gonna be like a fun little thing let me know because obviously I want to film what you guys want to see and I'm really really curious as to which one you guys will pick so that's that sorry for the long intro but let's get into this palette I'm excited because it's beautiful it has really nice like plastic packaging it feels pretty luxe I know he's done a palette before an eyeshadow palette I wasn't really interested in it. It was like a weird kind of colorful but neutral palette and it really didn't catch my attention so I never actually purchased that one and I never really watched any reviews or anything on it but when I saw this one I was really curious about it. This green shade I think everybody's been wondering about. I like you can flatten the palette or you can use the mirror to do your makeup as well so that's really cool. I've also just been interested in neutrals and color lately which is great because for a long time I was really into just color there I've been into neutrals before so I feel like I finally found my like balance I guess so I'm going into the shade electric which is like a beautiful mustard color and I have this nice fluffy brush from Sephora and I'm just laying that down as the first shade just to see what happens Is blending really nicely I like that color definitely has like a hint of yellow next I'm gonna go into transcends which is another nice light brown shade Ooh, pretty okay next let's go into the shade aesthetic which is another chocolatey brown color and I'm gonna throw that into my crease as well Okay, and then I'm going to go into the shade Mink, which is the chocolate brown. I've just stuck with the same brush. This, though, I'm going to just concentrate on the outer corner. Ooh, I love how this turned out. That was so effortless. I love that. Um, and now I just need a flat brush, and I just need to put a lid shade on, and I'm done. Um, I really like how it all blended. It's so lightweight, but it's so impactful, and 
I am going to run into the office this afternoon. It's Sunday, but we're going to do a little bit of work. But oh, I want to use... Oh, I feel like I want to use all the shimmers. Which shade should I use? So the shimmers are Opulence, Lavish, uh, Bronzita, and Supreme is the green. Ooh, okay, I'm going to go into Supreme because I'm curious. Because I feel like that's the color that's like really drawing people in is that little pop of olive green. Okay, it's applying okay. I definitely feel like I can make it pop more if I use it wet. Um, so maybe I'll do that next. Okay, wow. This is definitely like a look I would wear to work, hang out with friends. I like how neutral yet smoky and sultry it looks. I want to add a little bit of the shade Lavish, which is like a yellow gold, just to brighten up that green. Perfect. I managed to accomplish this look with two eyeshadow brushes, which is great because I know most people don't have like 8 million eyeshadow brushes to do eyeshadow looks with. So really like how that turned out. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face off camera and I'll be right back to swatch the palette and show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look with the Supreme Nudes palette. So I actually had a lot of fun playing with this palette. I don't know if I am just having the best luck with neutral palettes these days, but we'll see how long we can keep this streak going. So far, the two I've tried have been really nice, so I really like the Quarter Rosa palette, and I really, really enjoyed this one on first impression. Now, I don't love this one as much as, like, if I had to rank them, I think Quarter Rosa is still number one for me, but this one is so good as well. It was so easy to use. The mattes blended beautifully. The shimmer went on my eyelids stunningly so overall I really like this I like the size of this palette I think this would be somebody's everyday palette a great neutral palette and really nice packaging really great price point on the back here it does say it's cruelty free has a 12 month shelf life and distributed by artist couture um, bulk made in the USA and assembled in the Dominican Republic so that is the information I have on that I don't know where the box is I think it's over there somewhere but I really like this palette I think this is such a fun palette if you are on the hunt for a good work appropriate you know neutral little number or if you are into neutrals and just want to have it you know why not in my opinion um, I'm gonna swatch these for you guys so here are the first four shades I have exposed transcend opulence and nudist Super pretty. And then here are the next four shades. Ooh, those shimmers. So pretty. So we have stripped, lavish, bonnet, uh, bon, bonnet, bon, oh, bronzina. No, bronziana. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. English is hard apparently today. And then that last matte shade is aesthetic which is like one of my favorite kind of colors like when it comes to brown shades and my crease I love shades like aesthetic because it's just so perfect for my crease and then look at that green that's the one I used on my lid today that's supreme so we have silhouette um eccentric which is the mustard lavish which is the green <gasps> And then mink, which is the dark brown shade. So there are all of the swatches. Super duper stunning palette. I'm so excited I was able to add this to my collection. So now the most important question is, is this palette tan girl friendly? I would say definitely yes. I can see a lot of people with my skin tone having so much fun with this palette and I'm so happy I bought it. Let me know what other types of videos you would like to see. 
with the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. I am definitely planning on playing with it again. So if you guys like to see other looks created with that palette, definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram because I like to post makeup of the day on there just a little bit easier so follow me there and i am super close to 5k so if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and remember to do that i will leave my eyeshadow palette playlist linked here at the end so you guys can check out some of my other eyeshadow palette videos and don't forget to comment down in my comment section the next neutral palette you want to see do you want to see the latte too or do you want to see the Scott Barnes natural palette? That just helps me prioritize my filming schedule. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.